Welcome to Moksha Workflow Manager Training Movies. This is the second movie for exercise number 8 where we fine-tune the approval and commission task. In this second movie we will discuss um, login into a task. By default a user does not require a login into a task so um, if you, the user gets an email notification about a task he or she can click on the link and it will open the task immediately in, uh, for instance, uh, in sites. If we have a look, if we have a task to perform, if we open it, it will automatically log in. But Workflow Manager does, does offer us the possibility to log in to uh, a specific task. Um, that means that, for instance, in a scenario where the task mail is sent to the manager of a department, in that case that manager can uh, be configured uh, by name or uh, it can be applied to all users in that uh, specific uh, task. And whenever the user, that user receives an email, he or she will have to log in. They can either decide at that point to log in and take control of the task and perform it or forward it to somebody else uh, within the department who might be better suited uh, to perform that task. On top of that, they will have an option um, to uh, get read-only access to get a closer look without ch changing anything in the task and being able that way to uh, better as, uh, have a look for whom this task might be uh, best suited. I select uh, these three parameters and I can go to a workflow. I prepared this workflow in the previous example so uh, I can go right in and select open the workflow graphic and select the task in which I want to enable that feature. Here I want to enable that feature on the first task for instance. You could enable it on all tasks um, but in my example I'm going to do it uh, on this individual task. This is a permission so it's not going in here uh, or in this um, edit task uh, functionality that you will be able to do that. This is a permission thing and permissions are always uh, set here. Uh, in the information window of the record which is the task and you see that we already did set a lot of parameters in the previous uh, example and I'm just going to add these three so I'm going to say that it requires a login uh, for any user in this task and I am not gonna force it to be the same user as from where it is sent so any user can log in that receives uh, the email so in case of a directory uh, a distribution list or in case of a manager that forwards it to uh, another person in his department all that is going to be accepted in this example I simply uh, save it and now this uh, workflow is ready to be used uh, I'm going to add one personalization here uh, inside my uh, workflow task. An additional thing we are going to show uh, in the workflow and that is that I'm going to uh, help uh, add a label for a field maybe project name and uh, you can add some additional uh, information um, help information here um, and in this case I'm not going to do that. Watch out in Cumulus 8.6 you should not click on the save button here uh, it will trigger an error and not save the value. Uh, if I click underneath on the name of the category I get the same error but it allows me to save that information. It's a bug in Cumulus Client that is uh, fixed in Cumulus 9. An additional field I can add is uh, for instance uh, <coughs> uh, plant location uh, which is then maybe a selectable so I could say I start with a, a semicolon to define that it uh, should not select anything or by default it's selected to nothing 
and I can add some countries or plant names and again separate it by a semicolon. And click on the save button and this is exactly what happens if you make that mistake you get the same error but you will no longer be able to uh, save that information uh, it will still give continue to give you uh, that error so if you have if you have made that mistake just uh, leave the task and go back in and start over again it's a very annoying bug but um, there's no way around it at this point so I can redo that and I can say plant location and here I can add Belgium France and it's semicolons and it could be USA Sweden and now I'm gonna click here I get the error but I can save it now annoying but it works uh, in with the workaround so that's all I wanted to set now this task is uh, ready for execution so I'm going in here I'm logging in as a user that is permitted to use the workflow portal and that has access to that particular workflow and I see that I just selected a user that does not have that permission so I'm uh, logging out and I can try it as a different user and so I go in here into the task and now I am a user that is permitted to execute that task so you see that there's that level of protection if you are not uh, logged in as the proper user then it will not allow you to start that task in this example uh, I do not need to provide uh, any files so I'm just going to uh, select the participants and now I have additional information so project name uh, test for training 8 and the plant location I'm executing this from Belgium I could add additional instructions test for training 8 and I could upload uh, some files into that uh, task so I can click here and I can click I can add a second file if I want again you could use the multi upload just dragging and dropping if I click save it verifies everything in my task and I can click submit and now the task will start in a few moments I will receive an email or actually the first person in the workflow will receive an email and will uh, be asked to perform their task so if I go and check if the first mail is already uh, sent I have a look here and I see create a new flyer test for training 8 if I click on this task it opens the task immediately and now it asks me for uh, a login I have a read-only access that can give me a, uh, a peek at what files or what the task is but you could also read it uh, like this so you could disable uh, if you want this uh, this task now I'm going to log in for instance as Bill it says login is successful and it will now open the task and I can access anything and I can perform any part of the task one of the things we haven't seen yet is for instance the possibility to edit uh, the uh, workflow information inside the task it remembers previous choices but I see that um, I made a type mistake a typo in uh, the project name so I'm fixing that and instead of test throw it will say in a few seconds test for training you see it right it updates that right away so that is how you can enable uh, or make 
uh, login on a task mandatory. So I log out. This demo movie uh, is finished. If you want to have more information, please join me on a next uh, training movie. Thank you.